to Tales from the Basement, a podcast show from the sick mind of my husband, Clay Miles, recorded from where he dwells in the one place I allow him to live, the basement of his own house. And he better keep his ass in this basement. Well, here he is doing the only thing he can do right. Talk. Clay Miles. show thank you guys for coming out again We're getting new uh listeners i appreciate it great questions this week as usual different people which is awesome all right uh we'll just run right into it um no as a matter of fact i forgot i gotta do the uh kind of the announcements thing of the show if you nobody's ever really uh Listen to the show before what it is is just ramblings of a man who uh, lives in the basement. That's why we call it Tales of the B- Tales from the Basement. I'm your host Clay Miles, uh, and uh, a couple rules. Just you know, if, when you write into me, please don't use any names. And my response is, I'm an asshole, so don't take it seriously. It's all for entertainment. So if you're gonna take it personally, please do not show up. For the podcast show. It's all entertainment. All right. Now we will jump right into it. Uh, We're going to start today differently on a somber note. Uh, ESPN Stuart Scott announced on Twitter that his cancer has returned. I just want to say that, you know, first off, this guy, I love this guy. I love this guy since I was a little kid. Because he brought two things together for me, hip-hop and sports. Because it was great, because everybody knows this. Everybody heard the Daniel Tosh uh, bit the, about him every time. Booyah! I mean, every it was it was great. Nothing nothing funny to say here. I just really just, you know, feel bad for the guy, and I wanted to actually say that. Guy is great. Um, I don't care whether you liked him or not. I liked, I liked the motherfucker. I thought he was awesome, guys, you know. And he's still going to do it. You know, while he has cancer, he's still going to do it. So hopefully he can pull through this again and uh, bring us some more great, uh, uh, you know, anchoring. This guy's great. Stuart Scott, look him up if you don't uh, know him. Uh, He's a great guy, ESPN. All right. So uh, no real, you know, stories at home. My son son turned uh, seven. Very big day for him. He's excited. Turned seven last week. He was very excited. He told me uh, he was 11. I love when kids do that. No, I'm 11. I'm 11. Uh, oh, so can you want to drive daddy's car? Yeah, I can drive. I can drive daddy's car. I mean, daddy, you've seen me drive my uh, my Nerf truck. You know, I'm a good driver. Yeah? First off, there's no such thing as a Nerf truck, you retarded son of a bitch. <laughs> What are you talking about? <laughs> but uh, yeah, he's seven. I'm proud of him. Very cool kid. So that's the only thing new that's actually happened in my life. So why don't we just go ahead and get to the questions? Yes, got some great questions this uh, week. I'm very excited. All right, first question uh is uh, dear Clay, I'm 36 and my partner is 25. Okay. 20, 25 years older than me. Oh, okay. I'm 36 and my partner is 25 years older than me. We met on a train a year ago, started talking and never stopped. Very cool. I'm happier than I've ever been and the sex is pretty good too. Oh shit, old man working it out. Even though he's not really long, uh, really into long bedroom sessions and repeat performances, unlike my previous younger boyfriends. Well, there it is, younger boyfriends. Come on, what the hell is this guy gonna do? He's he's doing the best he can, you know. Fuck. Now we're talking about marriage. Very cool. But my closest friends think I'm mad. They'll uh. They say I'll be sex-starved and looking for a toy toy boy 
This says Toy Boy. I thought it normally it was Boy Toy. Okay. Same difference. Toy Boy in 10 years. Time and should find someone closer to my own age. Fuck them. Okay. You, you know, you find love wherever you find love. And these, you know, nine times out of 10, these bitches want to fuck your man. I mean, <laughs> you let him go tomorrow and these bitches will. Well, I mean, you let him go. I mean, you know. I mean, I mean not, and it, please don't tell these these women what he's doing. You know what I mean? Oh, his tongue and it's got it's got old old hair on it, old man hair. But it's incredible when he goes down to me. Oh my God! Don't I mean? Because literally, these women will go ahead and fuck your old man. I mean, they will, and the old man will think he hit the jackpot. So literally, I think you should keep on doing what you're doing. And if you decide to marry this old fuck. Then congratulations, and I think, you know, hopefully it works out for you. I'll pray for you. Yeah, but don't worry about anybody, what they think. If you're happy, you know what I mean? Yes, the sex is going to go downhill a lot quicker than, you know, but that means that's why they got Viagra and they got things for that. You just keep him in shape. You know, walk over walks and pretend like you're, you know, just wanting to talk to him. Go for a 10-mile walk every day, you know. It'll help, I'm telling you. All right. Well, thanks for your question, sweetheart, and hopefully you and your old man will uh, live long and prosper. <laughs> Who the fuck are you, Spock? Come on, Clay. All right. All right. Oh, dear. Next question. Dear Clay, my partner of 10 years has ended our relationship, and I'm shocked and alone at age 41. Yeah? How about that? I'm 39, and I'm fucking alone. It's life. <laughs> Get in the basement and shut the door and cry. Cry in the basement. I do. Fuck it. <laughs> uh, he says he adores me, but he's not in love, and we should both have space to find our soulmates. Damn. That's straight up. But he is that person to me. Oh, I'm sorry, sweetie. Friends uh, have said that the only course of action is to stay away. Yet I feel I could seduce him back into loving me. Should I book a romantic weekend away? No, it ain't going to happen. I'm going to tell you. The reason why I tell you it ain't going to happen is because what are you going to do for him that's any new than what you did before? All I'm saying is, do you have new pussy? No, it's the same old pussy. I, I'm sorry to say it like that, but it is. Seduce what? what? I mean, what are you bringing? I mean, unless you're bringing a younger girl who literally you can slip into her body, you know what I mean, and give him some new pussy, it ain't going to work. You're not seducing shit. And even if you do take him away for the weekend, all he is going to do with it is take it, is is use it as a weekend to get some pussy. Not to be with you. It, it's literally, literally, if you could cut yourself in half and let him take the pussy on the vacation with him, he, he'd like that better. To tell you the truth, so he don't have to deal with you. I'm serious. It's that bad. Men are that fucked up. There's no seducing here. Even if you do go away with him for the weekend, just go. You should go for the dick. Don't go. Don't go for his heart and bringing him back. It ain't going to happen. Stop. Let it go. And find somebody else to take out, you know, for a week. He already told you. You're, and you're not his soulmate. So, I mean, as as rough as that is. Yeah, fuck him. I mean, literally. I'm not saying he's the bad guy, because he's being honest with you, but you have to find a way to move on. So in your mind, just say, fuck him. All right, sweetheart. Well, good luck with that. That's rough. Hey, I'm in the fucking basement. I'll come on this, you know, send me a picture. If you're fucking hot, we'll do this. Woo! <laughs> Seduce me, bitch. All right. <laughs> All right. Continuing on. Man, I am hyped. As hyped. All right. I recently comp a comp uh, company, excuse me, my husband to, uh, to a school reunion. And while there, I learned uh, that most of them had been caned occasionally. What, 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 what kind of reunion was this? <laughs> was this a slave reunion? What type of bullshit is this? No, okay, kids did get caned back in the day, you know, whatever, in school. Okay. On the way home, my husband confessed that he thought of this, thought 
The thought of this turns turns him on. And he persuaded me to spank him that night before we made love. Oh, okay. This is a sick fuck. All right. So you've been, you got caned your whole life in school and the shit was turning you on. Come on, Miss Mary. Spank. A little bit harder. Come on. Come on, bitch. You didn't just call me, bitch. Smack, smack. Ha ha. Yeah, I came a little bit. Yes. <laughs> but look, how do you discipline a child who likes it? <laughs> and it turned him on. Yes. Smack that ass. All right. Wow. I feel lucky to still have uh, an active lover after many years of marriage, and I'm always happy to spice things up, but in this case, I don't know what uh, to do. What What don't you know what to do? Spank his ass. <laughs> you know what to do, because you did it. Spank his ass. Yes, it's weird, and it's crazy, but he's your, he's your fucking man. And don't write other people about this shit. <laughs> it's his weird shit. And as long as he's only fucking you, keep this motherfucker happy. Hit him with a brick. <laughs> One day during sex, instead of, go ahead and cane me, bitch. Grab a brick and bust him upside his head with it. And when he wakes up, he'll probably go, oh, you love me, don't you? So, yeah, fuck it. Don't, there's no, what, what to do. Okay. As he'd like to make it a regular thing, I don't share his impulse. What should I do to handle this? I, like I said, continue spanking his ass, hit him with a brick, bring a bat to bed. I, fuck this guy up. I'm just saying, if he wants to be fucked up, fuck him up. Why not? That's your man. Just don't tell anybody how freaky he is. Until you divorce him and then you tell the world. Write a book. You will gain a lot of money with that book. I'll read it. Freaky fuck. <laughs> Freaky sex deviant fuck. Oh. Okay, next question. My relationship with my husband of 14 years has been strained of late. We don't have children. He doesn't want any. Okay. But I feel there's a hole in my life and wonder and wonder age 43 if there's still a chance i could have one or well, maybe with somebody else but not with him especially if you don't want one what 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 can you do my spouse won't my spouse won't talk about it uh talk about our problem and recently he disappeared for a night oh you got a couple of problems he reappeared the next day and said sorry that he just needed space. When pressed, he said he'd stay up, he stayed up all night talking to a woman he met in a bar. Yeah, they talk. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Normally, you know, if I go to a bar and I meet a woman and she and she decides she wants to, you know, come back to my room with me, we're talking. And we are. We actually are, you know? Uh, you know, I'm saying right there, right there, right there. She's like, yes, yes. So, yeah, they talked. They talked. I mean, yeah, they talked. Okay. Um, but he swears nothing happened. I'm struggling to believe him. Is our marriage doomed? You got a million things going on here. Okay, first off, cut that child thing off with this guy. If you really want a child anyway, you need to move on. I mean, because he already said he's not. I mean, it's hard answers, but it's the truth. Leave this fucker alone. And he he don't want no he don't want no kid. He's still out there. He is still out there. I mean, yeah. I'm, any guy can hear this and go, oh, shit. What the fuck was that? No, Clay, he was just talking with whatever. Whatever, dude. Come on. I'm a guy. I'm a guy bullshit and if he did sit up and talk with this woman all night you got another problem because he's gay i'm just saying and if you're gay that's fine but i'm saying he's lying to you about what he likes he's gay sat up and talked to with a woman all night that's something my brother would do and he's gay so yeah my brother would do that 
Jesus. But thank you for writing, and I appreciate it, and I love you. <laughs> All right. My partner and I, this next question. My partner and I had a uh, vibrant sex life when we first got together. That's how it starts off. That's why you get together. Bam! Or should I say for Stuart Scott, a booyo. <laughs> but 10 years down the line, things have gotten a bit stays, stayed. Yeah, stayed, whatever it is. I don't know what, what? Why don't you guys just say stale? I mean, what the fuck? You're not impressing anybody. Stop! You know I'm stupid. <laughs> What's the matter with y'all? Well, yeah, of course it's gone downhill after 10 years. Uh, you know, everybody's done bits on that, you know, eating the same chip for the 10 years. The first time you eat it, of course, it's great and blah, 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 blah. It's been done. You know, that bit's been done. But, and it, but it's so true. So, of course, it's gone downhill. So, yeah, you, you got to spice it up. Hit him with a brick, right? All the people I talk to. Smack his ass. Do something. Seriously, fuck outdoors. If I mean seriously, let him play, play, play. You know, rape, where he breaks into the house and just th you know throws you down and throws the dick in. That spices shit up, and it gets the police involved. It's it helps out the community. All I'm saying is there's shit else. You, there's other shit you can do. He recently said he'd like to try some role playing. See, see. He's trying to spice things up and has suggested a doctor and sexy nurse session. I know he used to do this kind of thing with his ex. Uh, I don't want to be a killjoy, but I feel, but I feel frozen on at the idea. What can I do? All right. Even if he did do this with his ex, understand it might not. I mean, the thing about it is guys have a, a sex fantasy. It doesn't mean it's, the, you know, with her. He's not thinking he's fucking her. I know what you're thinking. Oh, my God, is he thinking about his ex? No, because he had that fantasy before he fucked his ex. He just has a thing for this nurse thing. You know what I mean? He just It's just that that thing turns him on, and he wants to put you in that thing that turns him on. Nothing wrong with it. Like I said, grab a brick. Hit him with a brick. That'll wake his ass up. Woo! What was that, bitch? Did you hit me with a brick? God damn, you love me. I'm just letting the women know out there that that brick thing is a joke. If you hit me with a fucking brick, we, I'm, I'm, we're fighting. I don't care. Hit me with a brick. See what happens. I'm just saying, these are some freaky motherfuckers. I'm not on that level. Don't you hit me with no fucking brick. Oh, Clay likes a brick. No, no, no. Watch. Next girl like that, she's going to hit me with a fucking brick. Bye! How about that, you motherfucker? Huh? You talk to that shit? And when I wake up, I'm whooping your ass. And I'm out to take the pussy because I'm going to jail. <laughs> yeah, Your Honor, I took the pussy. She hit me with a brick. What? Case of Smiths hitting people with a brick. Fuck that hoe. That's what I'm saying, Your Honor. <laughs> That's judged, uh... <laughs> What's his name? Uh, I forgot his name. The Supreme Court judge. Clarence, whatever. Thomas? Clarence Thomas? Yeah. Freak. Fuck. Oh, he was just in the news about something, too. I don't even remember, so fuck it. All right. Next, a question. A Joan. All right. My partner. Oh, no. Hold on. All right, let's go on to the next page. Ugh, I am grooving today. I am move. I'm getting shit. I'm getting shit done. I uh, I guess <laughs> getting shit done. <laughs> okay. My husband, dear Clay, my husband tends to make a beeline for young women at parties, preferring to chat to a uh, friend's daughters. Or their nannies. Okay. I never worried about this until a woman said his behavior was embarrassing her nanny and I and I should rein him in. Oh damn. Okay. Yeah, he's it yeah, 
guys do this. Doesn't mean he, he nothing mean he's gonna fuck her. A lot of times guys just like to be thought of as whatever. You know, well she thinks I'm attractive. My dad did that. I mean, it was hilarious. Seventy something years old and he talked to this well, yeah, did you see how she looked at me? Are you kidding me, old man? I mean, literally, 70 years old, and you're talking to a 23-year-old, and she's checking you out. I mean, he believed it. And why, why not let him believe it, you know? So that's this is all this guy's doing. Okay, uh, this comes at a time when I am about to employ a, um, an au pair for my own children. Oh, shit. Should I doubt, uh, should I... Doubt my spouse spouse's uh, um, motives, and am I being foolish in bringing an attractive woman under my roof? Damn right. Okay, at parties that's one thing. Do not understand. Your man's an idiot. Okay, just know he's a dumb ass. Why throw meat in, that you don't want eaten in the lion cage? The lion's gonna eat it. I mean, and 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 sh and you, are you? Whose fault is it that the lion eats raw meat thrown into the lion cage? You tell me whose fault it is. Yours. If you throw the meat in there, what are you gonna do? Get mad at the lion for eating it? That's what he does. He already told you. He's already round sniffing. <laughs> ah, ah, young pussy. Ah, ah. He's, he's sniffing right now. Then you're going to throw it in his own cage, in his own comfort zone? Yeah, you're a dumbass if you do this. Do not do this. Do not throw that meat to this line. He will eat it up. Now, if you still want to get an old pair, get a fat, old, unattractive woman. And you're still in trouble, but still. It's more likely he won't fuck her. I mean, look at Schwarzenegger. I mean, he did it. <laughs> I'll be back. Yeah. Yeah, you will. <laughs> but still, yeah, um, that was stupid. Don't do that. You know, but get a, get a, get a fat, unattractive one. Don't get an attractive one. All right. Next question. I am a pr I am pregnant with my second child. Congratulations. Way to be. Your body works. You did it. Yes. Twice. Which my husband and I are both thrilled about. Very cool. The problem is that while it took us two years to conceive our first child, or our first, this time it happened in our first try. That, now you're, you're dealing with what happened to me. Bam, bam. Had my first boy. Second boy, bam, he came right after. They, just, they came bum rushing. They just, they just came bum rushing out of the pussy. Just, let's go. Hun, 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 hun. <laughs> they had shit to do, so they had to get out. All right. My husband is disappointed. Okay, after many weary sexless nights, when our first child was a, uh, what's this? What do you call it? Balling baby? Balling? Balling baby, I guess, with colic. Oh, okay, yeah. That understand, I understand that. I had that. That sucks, people. You literally look at your child and you think this is a human being. Don't you know? You're making all this fucking noise. Are you serious? You got to literally tell yourself, calm down. It's it's literally a baby. No, you know what you're doing. You selfish little motherfucker. You literally think these things about your children. And if you say you don't, you lie. Every, every, all of us has looked at that child crying like that and went, would you, I mean, people, you've seen parents crying. Would you please just just stop crying? I mean, seriously, that shit breaks you down as a parent. If you get through that, woo, man. Also, okay, Colic, that he's, uh, uh, that he missed out on months of baby making sex. I mean, okay, I, I I understand what he's saying, and, 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 you know, he's a little upset. Okay, all right, whatever. I'm tired. My hormones are going haywire. My two-year-old is demanding, and I can't cope 
with my husband's demands demands uh, as well. What should I do? Sit this fucker down and talk to him. Seriously. That I mean, he's being insensitive. That's some bullshit. I'm I, I'm be honest with you. First off, you're right. I'm I'm telling you, you're right in the fact of he needs to be more understanding. He needs to be more understanding. You. You know, do what you can. Give him a little bit more sex. Give him a blowjob every now and then. If you don't want to give him any booty, suck his dick. Do something to help this man out so he doesn't explode. And also tell him, get some porn. Use use porn. Use Do whatever he's got to do to keep the shit at home. You know, keep his dick only out in the house. You know, <laughs> just tell him you can keep your dick out in the house, and in the bathrooms of the world. That's it. Yeah, I guess find this man some porn and suck his dick every now and then. I'm just saying. I mean, that'll help. Maybe you don't want to, you know, lay down. That that could be your side of it. You know, like I said, there's both. There's two sides to every story. He needs to be way more understanding because he doesn't understand what the fuck you're going through, and that's bullshit. But on the other side, help him... With 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 the uh, you know with the desert right now, you know the fact that he's a little dry, and every now and then you're like, go hook him up. Every now and then, you know, just to just to tell him, hey, I still love you, and even though I don't want to give you any, I still know that you. I need to take care of my husband and do a little blah blah blah, you know. So there's give and take and everything, but he needs to he needs to first understand to shut the fuck up and and you know. Be be a man. Seriously, be a man right here and understand that your woman's going through a lot. Stop being a dickhead. <laughs> That's what we could do as men. Just, just bullshit. You know, a woman could be shot. <laughs> She's bleeding to death. And a man will sit there and go, so, I mean, you, are you trying to tell me I can't get any right now? You know, you're, I'm dying. I'm dying. You've got at least... Five more minutes. It takes me three. Come on. Don't you want me to be happy on your last days on this earth? Uh, seriously, that, literally, you laughed. A man would make that as a complaint. Don't you want me to be happy on your last days of this earth? You could literally be, you could be blown apart. And you're literally just a lower half, you know, and, and you're over there. And he's looking at the lower half and, and, and he's looking at you. And and you're literally still alive, and you got like two more minutes left in the world. I, think, I just wanted to tell you a couple things. And it, he's looking at the torso like, I I the tor this she's still alive. So if I fuck that lower half real quick, um, it's not really uh fucking the dead. So yeah, let's do this. He will. I mean, you laugh. I mean, a man a man would think that he might not do it, but he thinks it. Believe me, he would think it. I would. Damn, the torso's right there. I mean, lower half is right there. I could literally, hmm, I'm just saying it's not fucking the dead if they're still alive. <laughs> oh, I'm letting too much out of the bag. Sorry, man. I'm telling all of our secrets. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's who we are, though. Fuck it. Fuck the world. That's who we are. All right. Next question. Thanks for the question. I hope you guys uh, figure it out. Um, and congratulations on the baby. All right, next question. Dear Clay, had a brief affair ow, with a colleague six years ago, which I quickly regretted. Uh-oh, are you married? Yep. My husband never found out, but I told my friends in our, in our, what, I think, wait a minute. I've already, I've already read this before. Hey, you sent me in this question before. This, uh, I swear to God, it's da, 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 best friend. Yeah, it says village here. And you sent me the same question. Let me finish you. Oh, okay, yeah. There, now the bottom, she says, I sent you this question. <laughs> okay, I sent you this question before. I just wanted you to see that, that I, saw, I saw your answer. <laughs> I saw your answer. And uh, I was trying to be eloquent by calling it a village. <laughs> but you called a town, of, I mean, a village. I'm sorry. Okay. All right. <laughs> Finally, I've gotten somebody to retort. 
I'm sorry, lady. You called it a village. That's on you. Still, thank you for the next, the follow up on on the fact that I fucked around with you. I am the lady that wrote to you, blah 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 blah, and you made fun of me about the village, about right, calling it a village. You spent five minutes on the fact of. <laughs> You never answered my question, you motherfucker! Alright, let's look at your question. Your question was... That's uh, literally that's literally what she wrote. <laughs> Listen here, you piece of shit! I need to read these questions before I go on it, like, record. <laughs> that just blew me away. Well, sweetheart, I'm sorry to answer your question. And let's see, what your, your question was, uh, she's been a good friend to me, but I'm struggling... To to be her confidant in this matter, how should I deal with it? Okay, well the whole thing is, uh, she went ahead and had a, had an affair. Uh, her husband didn't know about it, and uh, and I have read this question before, but I spent ten minutes on the fact that she called her town a village, and I just went off on it. <laughs> Never answered the question, so I think uh, literally, uh, sweetheart. Uh, you need to stay the fuck out of it. You know, just there. There's your answer. Stay the fuck out of it. Literally. Hopefully that's enough of an answer, and fuck you. <laughs> Thanks for writing me back, though. I appreciate it, but stay out of it. <laughs> All right. Ugh. All right. I'm going to continue on. I went on the laptop. I went on the laptop. I share... Um, with my husband and happened to look on its history happened is bullshit why would you write that i'm sorry just like village i've got to go off on a tangent here you just happened understand how you wrote that you wrote that so everybody believes you were just typing along and you tripped and oh god my hand slipped uh, and i licked the screen and I hit history by mistake. You were hunting. You walked up to that computer and you said, I'm going to look at this motherfucker's history. That's what you did. I just happened. Yeah, I mean, did you just happen to fall on a dick? You don't, you don't just happen to fall on a dick. And fuck it until you came three times and then rolled over and go, I made a huge mistake. And it's huge because that's a big fucking dick. Woo! I'm sorry. Oh, I am hot today. All right, let's get to your question. <laughs> Where I found, uh, okay, that was history. Where I found links to local escort agencies. Damn, caught in the art. <laughs> local escort agencies? Wow. I felt sick and devastated. And you should go get yourself checked. <laughs> I'm, I mean, hey, the way the world is today, you need to do that. Seriously, get yourself checked. Literally, I, I am being totally serious. F sick and devastated? No. Yeah, no question. Get checked. All right. I confronted him, and he denied he'd ever acted upon this. Cer what? <clears throat> He's an idiot. How do you deny that? She didn't go to these escort sites. Unless you have kids at least teenage age that are boys, who else went there? This guy's an idiot. This guy has no idea how it works. I mean, there's not... Okay, you're caught red-handed. That's literally, literally red-handed. Hand in the cookie jar looking at mommy. You're caught. There, I mean, literally, have some dignity at this point. And just say, you got me. <laughs> you got me. You got me. Now, you know, tell her. And then you just you just come clean how far you've gone. Fellas, you, if you have ever done anything like this and you're caught red-handed, like, understand, fellas, this is caught red-handed, period. Especially if he's the only guy in, in the, uh, he's the only guy in the, uh, what do you call, in the family. There's only um, one man. Um, and, and there's not a teenage boy. And even if, even if, because like I said, you go to those porn sites and then those other sites, you know, you have pop-ups. Come on, everybody understands that. 
Go to the free porn. Come on, fellas. Don't stop acting like you don't know. Stop shaking your head no. Because, <laughs> come on, we all do it. Go to the free porn sites. Then all of a sudden, you get a million pop-ups. Now, understand, that could have been what happened. But by him saying, no, 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 you're, you're actually showing that it goes deeper than it actually goes. Literally, you are telling on yourself. I'm just saying. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, no. Three, three hard no's is a big fat yes. No, 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 no. <laughs> All right, what else happened here? Uh, he says he was just bored and messing around. Okay, so at least he's saying he went there. Now I feel like I can't trust him. What should I do? Nothing. Literally. There's nothing to do. Understand the animal. A man is fucked up. And unless you catch him, I mean, like I said, you need to have in your relationship trust in the fact of, look, I'm not going to believe what anybody says about you. I'm going to come to you, ask you a question, and if you tell me whatever, that's what it is. Unless I catch it, you know, dead on. And if he's just telling you he's messing around, then there's nothing for you to do. There's literally nothing for you to do. And stop being Kojak, okay, and searching for shit. Because I'm telling you, you might find something that you didn't want to find. <laughs> like shit like this. Maybe he might, might not be fucking around, but he might be a deviant. You know what I mean? He just has it in him He's to look at crazy shit. He's just a fucking guy. Do you understand, ladies, how fucked up we are? Do you understand the animal? We are fucked up. Stop trying to change us. We look at the world differently. Everybody looks, I mean, we have this cock and we have uh, his, their, his buddies, balls. And they direct our brain. I'm sorry. It's that's the way it is, ladies. I'm sorry. Stop trying to. Uh, but but I would never. It's not about you. You don't have a dick. Stop it. But I like sex too. Yes, you like sex, but not like me. Cause you know what, ladies? I could be in an electric chair, seeing the the, the person who's getting ready to pull pull the switch, and if she has breasts, the last thing I'm thinking is God. Damn, I would fuck the shit out of her. That's how fucked up we are. Stop trying to change us. What should I do? Nothing. Live your life. You got dick. You got a dick at home, and he loves you probably. He's just fucked up. Stop looking for this perfect man. He ain't out there because, ladies, he doesn't exist. Stop it. Seriously. You're going to lose what you have. Okay, I've been with my partner, uh, dear Clay. Next question. <laughs> I've been with my partner for two years, and we're talking about marriage. But he says he won't commit himself to me or anyone unless there's a firm deal in place about how we, how often we make love. Damn. Before I go any further, we have literally listened to, fellas, what we're getting ready to hear, which I believe we're getting ready to hear. <laughs> We all need to take a knee and bow to this man because he is literally, if this is what I think it is, he is literally the smartest man alive. <laughs> this motherfucker is making sure before he gets married, I, 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 he's holding that carrot out in front of her like, I'll marry you. I'll marry you. But before we get married, smart. I'm just saying, smart. All right, let's see what happens. Let's go further, because if this is what it is, this is what I've always wanted to do. And it, okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's say I don't know yet, but we'll see. Uh, let's see. His marriage and last relationship ended because both women lost interest in sex. He says he wants to uh, wants an undertaking that we should have sex at least twice a week, unless. Uh, Unless one of us is ill or away. Oh, please. Does he want to go to attorney and do this? If he does that. This, this, uh, uh, ladies, this is very smart. I'm sorry. This is smart. This, this man, understand. Now, ladies are like, well, that's fucked up. That's that he should make her. Now, 
you're trying to keep your man at home, right? You're trying to keep your man, you're trying to keep your man's dick only in you, and if not in you, in his pants or in your bathroom. That are the bathrooms of the world. That's the only place you want the dick. In the bathrooms or in you or in his pants. That's it. Now, or in your bed. Now, he's saying to you, I only want to fuck you. Okay? But but you got to fuck me. And I got to make sure you're going to fuck me. And I'm telling you, I want it at least twice a week. And let me tell you something. This guy's being nice. If it was me, you're fucking I'm four times a week. Four times. At least four times. Okay? Okay? I'm not coming out of this basement until I get it four times a week. Do you hear me? <laughs> God damn it. I'm getting a lawyer. I'm suing. Pussy pay months. <laughs> oh. All right. I hate the idea of sex becoming a duty rather than a pleasure. Pleasure. Shouldn't love be unconditional? In a perfect world, all right? Are you out of your fucking mind? Le grow up. Love unconditional. There's no such thing. There's no fucking rules to love. Understand, this man is saying, what ladies, like I said, this man is saying that he loves this woman. He's saying he loves her and he only wants to put it in her. What he's saying is, you're, you're my new toy. I'd like to drive my toy every week so I can keep my dick in my pants, in the bathrooms of the world, and only in you, and only want to be in you, but you gotta fuck me. You gotta fuck me, okay? And let, ladies, it does, just doesn't go your way. Your way of love is not just in your head. You both de decide that, that definition. Stop thinking that it's just your definition. Shouldn't love be unconditional? Like I've always read in all the books. And, and, and Cinderella didn't have to open her legs. Bullshit! Prince Charming was knocking that motherfucker out. Do you understand me? Fuck you. That's the real story. Because after that night when she lost the shoe, she also lost the virgin. <laughs> she also got her cherry pop. That wasn't the only thing she lost that night. He was also bringing back some draws. Not only did you lose his shoe, I got some panties over here. Who can fit their big ass in these panties? Because Cinderella had ass. I I'm just letting y'all know. The real Cinderella had booty. Where the fuck did any of this come from? <laughs> Something's wrong with me. <laughs> Cinderella had ass. Pow! Shake that ass, Cindy. <laughs> All right. Oh, I forgot that happened this week. Wanted to talk about... Uh, mainly, I want to talk about this because, uh, number one, I'm irrelevant. And um, just like everybody else who's commenting on this, and uh, I have uh, a, a medium to be heard. So, of course, I'm going to comment like uh, I, <laughs> like I'm fucking important. But this, uh, hopefully I say his name right, Man Manny um, Manti Teo, this guy, uh, I don't know if anybody knows what's going on here. This guy, uh, he's an inside linebacker for Notre Dame, incredibly talented young man. Uh, this this young guy uh, fell in love with this woman online, uh, and uh, so it came out to be a hoax, supposedly. Um, and everybody's saying, you know, uh, you know, whether he shouldn't be drafted or whatever, or you know, he's a dumbass, or uh, everybody's giving their opinion about this, saying he, he knew, you know. But everybody's not saying the, uh, what they're really feeling about this, uh, what they should be feeling about this. And what they should be feeling about this is, you know, and, and this comes from the bottom of my heart. Uh, I don't give a fuck. Seriously. Okay. I'm in the fucking basement. And, uh, and maybe you're not in the basement, but maybe you need to be uh, in the basement. Or maybe you don't even know that mostly you're in the fucking basement. You have problems. Why the fuck do I care how stupid this young man is? Even if it's, if it's, if it's True that he did A, B, and C. I don't care. He didn't kill anybody. He's allowed to be a dumbass. Okay? That's between him and his God. He's a, a stupid fucking 
kid. I don't care. And he's going to be a millionaire. He's an inside linebacker. The how? I mean, I used to play football. Duh. We're not the smartest people out there. Why the fuck do you think I'm in a fucking basement? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the truth comes out. Yeah, people are always coming to me about this. They're all over the place. What do you think about this? What do you think? Somebody has has a uh, opinion that he's gay, and I say again, I don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? He's sucking somebody. Hey, if he loves dick, that's cool. But who cares? I just want to know. Want to make sure you know if this dumbass gets you know on the bears, which will take him. If he gets on the Bears, all I want to know is what his email address is so I can send him pictures of my daughter so we can get paid. <laughs> that is a joke. Relax. I'm not going to send him pictures of my daughter. <laughs> Fuck it. Send him pictures of my son. He's gay. Are you staying with this? Jesus, I'm in the basement. <laughs> Oh, I am an asshole. <laughs> but seriously, who the fuck? If you care about this, either way, you don't have a life. And the only reason why I'm looking at it is because I'm trying to look at the outside world for you. Because you should have a life and you shouldn't give a fuck. And, you know, this should just literally bring you, you know, nothing but joy. And I'm watching ESPN and I'm sitting there yelling at the screen. Stuart Scott, I love you and everything. Why the fuck are you... If I was Stuart Scott, I'd be like, I got cancer. Do you think I give a fuck about this kid? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I shouldn't curse on TV, but what the fuck? Say, is this a real problem? Is this a real problem? And then Lance Armstrong with his evil, maniacal ass <laughs> telling Oprah some shit. Oprah got in his shit. Yes, so you been watching the news. It's been an incredible week. Lance Armstrong has said, I have taken steroids. And then afterwards, Oprah interviewed me, and I said, Oprah, I'm in the fucking basement. I don't give a fuck about Lance Armstrong. So what the... Seriously. Uh, I almost got kicked all the way out of my basement. <laughs> Somebody's listening to the podcast. Somebody's, I don't believe all the shit you said in the podcast is bullshit, all right? The fuck? Oh, I'm sorry. It just happened to be true. That's how I fucking feel. <laughs> Shouldn't have said that part of it, but either way, I almost got, almost got kicked out of the basement. <laughs> Where do you go from the basement? You know, I, I, you go to a friend's house. I don't have friends. Come on. The fuck who helped me, had me over? Oh, uh, it was close, though. <laughs> it was close. Oh, it's sad how, how how actually true that is. <laughs> oh, I'm still out here, you motherfucker. I'm stupid. Ugh, why would I yell upstairs like that? All right. Let's go to the next question before I get kicked out again. <laughs> Doing this podcast from my car. Tales from the car. It's like a basement. It just has four wheels. But, uh, all right, um, here's the question. Dear Clay, for the past five years, I've been fixated by a gorgeous, funny man I met through my choir. Although we both had long-term partners. Oh. We both had long-term partners who became very close. We became very close and shared our hopes and secrets, and you guarantee you you shared more than that. You, considering you were in the church, you were probably sharing the Lord's name too. Just oh God, oh God, oh God. You know what I mean? So yeah, you you shared more than that. Okay, I broke up from my boyfriend in the summer, and when my friend split from his partner too. Funny you use the word split. Um, okay. Uh. I was on teeter hooks. Okay, again, you people, I'm not that fucking smart. Okay, I'm not even close to being smart. I'm not even on. I'm I'm on the uh, I'm on the wrong side of stupid. What the fuck? teeter hooks? Are you serious? Teeter hooks? The fuck does that mean? I'm just reading people. I'm just reading, and I'm literally going, who the fuck do they? Who do you people talk to? 
<laughs> Teeter hooks. Okay. He asked me out Christmas, and we had been uh, we we had an amazing evening um, before returning to my house where we fell into bed. You didn't fall into bed. Here it is again. L- look, look, lady, you didn't fall on the cock. Okay, we fell into bed. Why do you make it so? If I asked him, you guys were fucking. Hey, did you fuck her? Yeah, we were fucking pretty good, dude. It was going at a pretty good clip. <laughs> I'm just saying, stop it, ladies. Just be honest. I, everything's not a, a novel, you know. You were fucking. Relax. Have some fun. Have a have a cock. You know. <laughs> All right. He asked me. No, 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 no. Okay. Fell in the bed. I thought it would be the best sex of my life, but from the first kiss, everything went wrong. <laughs> this is reality. You put the dick on a pedestal, and the pedestal was bigger than the dick. (laughs) I'm sorry. Oh, you put the dick on a pedestal. Never do that, ladies. Never put the dick on a pedestal. Most guys don't know how to fuck. So, seriously, you know, come on. All right, we barely communicated since. I'm very, I am distraught. How could incredible chemistry disappear within the year? Because there was no chemistry, okay? It, seriously, let's be honest. People, we talked about this before. Take out a pen. Write this down, okay? If the sex messes up your chemistry, then there was no chemistry. It was all about the sex. Seriously, if it was real and true, uh, sex wouldn't mess it up. Seriously. <laughs> Damn. As you can tell, I'm sick again. One of these little motherfuckers got me sick. Again. Fuck. Oh, sick of this shit. I can't I can't get away from these these, these little the diseased little kids. <laughs> They're all diseased. And then they and they touch me. Oh, they touch me. They're great kids, though. I love playing with them. I love kids are so fucking awesome. But they're disease. You know, they pick their nose, and then they want to give you a high five. Now, you don't catch the nose picking. You just see the high five. And I don't know about you, but I love high fives, okay? I'm a high-fiving motherfucker. You just walk up to me and give me a high five. I don't care where you've been. I'm throwing it up. I'm giving it to you. I'm giving you a pound. I love high fives. And so I get fucked. Because I love high fives. And you done picked your ass and smacked my hand, you nasty fucker. But you're a child, so I don't call you that. At least to your face, I'll go ahead and get a podcast show so I can get it out. And then I'll be in the basement down here and then yell at you from down here. But either way, fuck you. (laughs) So anyway, yeah, there's no chemistry. Stop that. You wanted his dick. You got his dick. It wasn't a good dick. And all of a sudden, you don't want to be with him. Uh, what happened to the chemistry? That's not chemistry. Stop. All right. <clears throat> Moving on. <laughs> All right. Dear Clay, my husband and I always uh, prepared Christmas stockings full of little treats for one another. Oh. I'm sorry. I, I know I'm all fucked up when you hear true love and somebody does something really sweet like that. But you gotta understand, I I can't I can't you know <laughs> I'm down here, mom. I'm not making it work, okay? So when I read shit like this, it's like motherfucker. <laughs> when I read something sweet like that, <laughs> I'm gonna react. I'm sorry. That's what you want to hear anyway. You just want to hear the ramblings of a man who just ain't fucking. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah, you're better than me. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. My husband and I always prepare Christmas stockings full of little treats for one another. Okay. He is usually good at giving me things I want. But this year, the last gift I unwrapped was a soft porn film. I like this man. Let me turn this around. All right. Now we're getting. Thank you. Because nobody wants to hear about you making it work. Just so you know, nobody wants to hear that. They want everything to go to shit. 
when you write me, don't write me about how much your life is going great. Tell me it's all going to shit. Start. I want to see tears in the emails. I want. Are this is this paper actually wet? How did you get my internet page wet from tears? That's awesome. That's what we're all going through. We all want to feel better. And it's so funny. You guys are writing me about some fucked up shit, and none of this shit has made me feel better about my life. <laughs> It's not helping me out, <laughs> but it's helping somebody, so keep it going. All right, soft porn film. I like this guy. Okay, I thought it must be a joke, but then he said he couldn't wait until our daughter went back to university so we could watch it together. Oh, okay, well, I'm about to say, this guy's a freak. What the fuck? Was he trying to fuck the daughter, too? What the fuck? I mean, Jesus Christ, he's really watching some shit. All right, but no, he, he's way, okay. I'm not a prude. Okay, let me, okay, this is what she said. This is the next thing that she wrote. Let me explain to you, fellas and ladies. This next thing that she writes, whenever you do this, you are that, okay? She says, I'm not a prude. If you have to start your sentence off with that, then you are. And if you if you if you give the next word, I'm not gonna look. If the next word is but, then you're getting ready to recant that. And ladies, stop straddling the fucking fence. Okay, I'm just gonna read it through. All right, I'm opening my eyes. I'm not a prude, but yeah, I have no desire to watch a blue movie and worry there must be a part of my spouse. I don't know at all. First off, why the fuck are you calling it a blue movie? Blue movie? Are you saying? Are you kidding me? Are you a comic? You were you know you so worried about working blue? Are you fucking kidding me? Blue movie? <coughs> it's soft core porn. This isn't even the real shit. And then also, what would he say? What what was the next part? Uh, and I worry there must be a part of my spouse I don't know at all. Well, don't you want to know it? See, ladies, this is this is what pisses me off. You go, I want to know everything about you. Okay, well, I want to put it in your ass. I don't want to know that. I mean, what the fuck? Are you serious? I I, I want to know everything about you. Tell me your hopes and your dreams. Well, I hope one day I can put it in your mouth, and then right afterwards. Put it in your ass and come right on your back. I'm not a whore. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, I'll get my shit and go to the basement. But you asked me. Okay, that's going a little bit too far. You guys didn't want to know all that. <laughs> you asked me what I wanted. This is bullshit. Why the fuck do I gotta live down here? All right. <laughs> just, just one time. All right, anyway. Um, she says here, she continues on. Um, I don't know. Uh, da, da, da. Okay, how on earth should I deal with this? Okay, you should deal with it, seriously, with knowing that life is short. And if this is the husband who you want to be with for the rest of your life, that he's not going to be... Perfect in a way that you wanted to be perfect. And and you might actually learn some stuff. I mean, have fun with your husband. Seriously. He's your husband. Play with him. He's your toy. Learn learn different things. You know, watch diff watch movies. Do whatever you gotta do. I mean, fuck. So whatever happens in your house anyway. The only problem is, and every comic has done this as a joke. You know, Sam Kinison even did this. I mean, he's probably the first one to do it. But you know, the only problem is when you do crazy stuff like that, if you do break up, you know. But that's, you know, that's that, and that's true. Oh. Okay. But thank you for writing me. I appreciate it. But seriously, you know, fuck your husband. Seriously. Fuck the shit out of him. All right. Continuing on. We already talked about the Lance Armstrong thing. All right. Odd news time. Yeah, we're coming to the end. <laughs> thank God. All the women are like, oh, Jesus Christ, I know my, my husband doesn't think like that. Yes, he does. All right, odd news. Here's something. Brett Musburger 
73. Somebody actually wrote me this and wanted me to talk about this. Uh, livens up the first half of BCS title game with comments on AJ McCarron's girlfriend. Okay, yeah, I think I heard about this. Let me see what he says. Uh, oh, he said, okay. He said, uh, you quarterbacks, get all the good-looking women, Musburger said. What a beautiful woman. Okay, what this is is uh, the, the, the starting quarterback of uh, Alabama. Um, they showed his, I think it was his ex-girlfriend. Either way, um, either way, she's a good-looking woman. She was bad as fuck. I mean, this woman was so bad that Brent Musburger, 73 years old, who's probably never, hasn't seen his dick get hard for 10 fucking years, lost his shit and his dick was talking to him. This shows you that men are all the same no matter what age. 73 years old, he probably hasn't seen his dick, like I said, get hard on its own without Viagra. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, his dick is talking to him. Amen, brother. Amen. Go home and fuck the shit out of your uh, Miss Mus Musburger or whatever. <coughs> <coughs> Miss Brett Musburger. So he called her beautiful and this just went on. And he also said, wow. Um, uh, woo. Woo. Messburger chimed in, wait a minute, 73 years old, and goes, woo, his dick was hard, I'm sorry. He says, AJ's doing, uh, doing some things right down here in uh, Tuscaloosa. AJ doing, the, what he's saying is, way to be young man, way to sling that dick the right way. Now, ladies, I know you're, it wasn't, that's not, probably not, but that's what men think. We think literally. Fucking 50 Cent made the song, I've Got the Magic Stick. I mean, literally, we think, as long as I can fuck you, then you should be mine forever, okay? Forever. Of course, that's not the reality of it, but that's what we think. And to see, at 73 years old, they're still thinking that shit. So, in other words, uh, there's no hope for me. <laughs> I'm just going to get worse. <laughs> uh, if anybody needs an old man to live down in their basement... <laughs> I'm open to move because literally I'm not getting any better. So I, you know, the next next relationship I get in, she just go right to a basement. <laughs> oh. He also goes on to say, if you're a youngster in Alabama, start getting the uh, start uh, start getting the football out and throw it around the backyard with pop. Musburger said, "Yeah, understand, ladies. I know women are like what? I don't understand. That's why guys." play sports in, in high school, hell, college, to get ass. I, I mean, literally, that's why they play in, in, in the NFL. Why? Do, what do they do? They, 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 they train, they get good, <clears throat> they go to the strip bar, and they make it rain. <sighs> that's making it. Understand, in a man's mind, that's making it. It wasn't, it wasn't making it to the NFL. It was going to the strip bar knowing you can fuck every bitch in here. <laughs> if you ask yourself, look at Bill Clinton. Made it to presidency. It wasn't enough. <laughs> he had to fuck every woman in that office. He just got caught with the fat one. That's That was all. That was it. He's just mad because he got caught with that one. It's like, I just, I just fucked Miss Universe. This is the one you're going to catch me with? Damn. Pussy is the final frontier is all I'm saying. I mean, let's be honest. You know, everybody says space. Fuck space. The space in between your legs, ladies. That's the final frontier for a man. That's all we want. Look, 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 look at, uh, 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 what's his name? Captain Kirk. <laughs> Going all over the universes. And still, he was just out there to conquer pussy. That was it. Fuck green bitches, blue bitches. I mean, it was like uh, Lucky Charms. Uh, green clovers, blue diamonds. I mean, he bang, 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 bang. Spot. <laughs> that was just a pimp show. Sorry. Every show is about a guy's dick. I don't care. where I can literally, you name any show to me, I can go ahead and show you it's about his dick. Period. The A team, A team, broke out of jail 
to get pussy. Bam, there it is. Name me another one. Okay? Different strokes. Got into a, a, the, the white people's house, different strokes, Arnold, to get white pussy. I'm sorry. Yes, that's that's what it came down for. I'm just being honest. The cuteness was a, a, a ploy to get white pussy. I mean, either way, pussy. Either way. Uh, well, it kind of kind of got weird at the end there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for coming out. I appreciate it. Later. Wow. Now you see why he lived in the basement? If you would like to continue supporting this podcast, come back next week. Clay has an endless wealth of ignorance that he can pollute your life with. If you have questions about your life that you would like answered by someone who can't get it together himself, email him at clay at claymiles.com or send the questions to his Facebook page, the official Clay Miles page. From the bottom of my heart, thanks for tuning in. The more you listen, the less he talks to me. Thanks again.